Five Facts You Need to Know About ADHD Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, is a mental disorder that affects the individual's ability to focus. They may need to move around frequently and might have trouble controlling their impulsive behaviors. According to the American Psychiatric Association, it affects roughly 8% of children and 2% of adults. Unfortunately, many misconceptions are attached to this disorder. For instance, many people believe with medication, ADHD can be immediately cured or grown out of. Some also commonly believe that it only affects boys because they're perceived as rowdy and rambunctious. We want to educate the public with only the truth, and we'd like to offer support to those of you who've been diagnosed with it. Here are five facts you need to know about ADHD. 1. Symptoms and Signs of ADHD First and foremost, we want you to know that it's never a good idea to self-diagnose. Please visit a health professional in order to receive reliable insight. Signs that doctors often look out for include disorganization, trouble planning ahead, impatience, difficulty with following directions, and an inability to sit still in one place for an extended period of time. This is more than just a matter of not being disciplined enough or being messy. An unmade bed or zoning out during a conversation are not enough to diagnose someone with ADHD. People with ADHD have trouble learning and often repeat their mistakes. Instead of losing our patience with them, it's best to approach them in ways that we can help them grow and feel understood. 2. Causes of ADHD To this day, researchers still do not know the direct cause of ADHD, but there has been evidence that shows a link between the disorder and genetics. Researchers also point out other factors, such as premature birth or the diagnosed patient's mother facing severe stress or using drugs and alcohol during pregnancy. 3. Treatment options. Treatment options available for ADHD include medication, counseling, support groups, and behavioral therapy. Before deciding which treatment to use, please talk to a health professional. Dr. Rachel Klein, a professor of psychiatry, notes that the long-term effects of medication for ADHD are still unknown. There is also evidence that shows it can suppress the child's appetite, which can affect their physical development. While medication has been shown to be most effective by research, children who take it are still at risk to its side effects. It's good to be aware of them and know that there isn't just one right treatment option. We recommend that you explore all before making a commitment. Remember, you can stop any time you don't feel comfortable. 4. What teachers can do Teachers often complain about troublesome students who may have ADHD. Instead of punishing them for being disruptive, there are healthier alternative ways to help them learn. Allowing frequent breaks and promoting playtime is one way to help students with ADHD get up and move as they wish. Other helpful tips include encouraging more class participation and providing hands-on learning opportunities. This can influence students with ADHD to get excited about being involved in the lesson, whether it means being able to write their answers on the board or conducting a science experiment. 5. What parents can do Parents can find it challenging to discipline and teach children with ADHD, but know that you're not alone and there are support groups you can join. One strategy to use is providing a structured routine. Children with ADHD have a hard time organizing and completing tasks on time. Set a time every day for them to do homework and a time they can play. Balance is key, but make sure the routine isn't rigid. Promote productivity instead of adding pressure on them. Expect your child to be headstrong and break rules, but avoid using helicopter parenting. Instead,